Magic Fest 2019 is in Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's Friday. I got a $100 Minden at Bellagio Prime at 6.30, so might as well go to the Strip, see some of my favorite Magic artists, maybe pick up some prints, maybe get some good deals on some cards as investments, and see some old Magic friends from back in the day. Let's go. What's up, man? Five and one. Five and one? Yeah, so uh, six, fi six five and ones make it, so we'll see. Number one seed, the man. Yeah, man. Congrats. Yeah, I just, the deck ran really well. Overall, a great time at the Las Vegas Convention Center Magic Fest 2019. Uh, a lot of the same uh, types of people, but don't make fun of them just because they might seem nerdy. They're really nice people, and they all have something in common. And when a group of people can come together and express their love for a common hobby, it really is a great thing, and you should really embrace this and not make fun of it. Magic isn't harming anybody, it's a great game. Much like poker, there's luck, there's strategy, there's skill. A direct correlation between successful Magic players and successful poker players. So, the next time you wanna hate on a Magic player, just remember, they're a poker player too. After a long Sunday online grind, it's time to go to the Strip. Let's go to Aria, check out John George's Steakhouse. Never been there before, should be great. Meeting up with Daniel Chang and some Magic players. Let's go to the Aria. I didn't double dip any of these if you guys want the sauce. Oh, great. Let's just put them up there. Yeah. Go double dip. Okay. I'm going with the Shibaya Bai can. Better not be too much. You guys could put the maize beans over here on the lamb. You have a sweet chili glaze as well. And you have a sour cream. Blueberry and rhubarb cobbler. Yeah, I got to I owe you money for the cappuccino too, so. I'm serious. I'm sorry, man. You really got it all going. Sorry, man. Granite. What? Granite gargoyle. Granite gargoyle. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, well, I, don't give me too much credit. It literally just amounts to sending off money to people. Uh, yeah, I mean, but still, like, you know, you could buy anything with that money. You, know, you could buy... Um, yeah, and a lot of dual lens, too. Like, upwards of 80 or so. Yeah. Not, not, as, not a tremendous amount of attention paid to impeccable condition, though.
first time I've ever eaten at John George's Steakhouse at the Aria, and I gotta say it was great. I was gonna go with the filet, but the waiter encouraged me to try the ribeye cap Wagyu. I told him I don't like chewy meat. He says you won't chew at all. It's gonna melt in your mouth, the flavor's great, and after trying it, I have to agree it was excellent. No gristle, no cartilage, no chewy, unedible bits that I had to spit out. Every bite was just fatty and delicious. Seasoned perfectly with a nice sauce. Really can't hate on that at all. Lobster mashed potatoes, asparagus, great sides. Highly recommend Jean Georges. After dinner, we went to the Daniel Chang Suite at the Marriott and played some old school magic. And let me tell you, it was a great time. I haven't played magic in 20 years. Not only was I pretty proficient with all the new cards and abilities, I also really appreciated the types of people that play magic. They're not shady. They're genuine, good-hearted people. Really brought me back a lot of great memories. Uh, big shout out to Brian Weissman, winner of GP Vegas, 9-0 record. There was some controversy, but I believe deep down in my heart of hearts that he was not in the wrong. There was a miscommunication and they handled it very poorly. Brian Weissman is the Grand Prix Vegas vintage champion. Shout out to Daniel Chang for all the hospitality, the free dinner, the free packs. It was a really priceless weekend. Can't wait for these guys to come back. Until next time, before you hate on guys that play magic, you should just hate on people that enjoy Game of Thrones, because as far as I know, it's pretty similar. The fantasy, the nerdiness. Magic is merely a cross between poker and chess. There's skill, there's strategy, and there's luck. Don't hate on magic.